Hello. In this video, we're going to go through this word problem here. Uh, it's a word problem that ties into exponential relationships. So before you dive into this, you should understand the idea of an, what an exponential relationship is and how to graph one. And so the first thing with any word problem is let's take a read and let's highlight some important pieces of information. So a radioactive isotope of uranium decays. So the first thing that jumps out at me is this word decays. It means that this is a decreasing function, meaning that as I, as I put in times that are progressively larger, the amount should decrease. So it loses 1.5%, so that's an important value there, of its mass every six hours, so that's an important idea. And the starting mass of a particular isotope is three kilograms. So with exponential relationships, there's actually a nice formula we can use. And again, I'm going to use a formula here, but I do always stress it's really important that we understand where it comes from and why it works the way it does. But the formula looks like this. The mass as a function of time is equal to B naught times 1 minus R to the power of T divided by capital T. And so the key to these problems is picking out these letters in red, B naught being the initial amount, R being the rate, and T being, or capital T being the change time. So if we take a look at this word problem here, we see it loses 1.5%. So this is R. And again, when we deal with percentages in mathematics, we want to put 0.015. We want to write this as a decimal. So six hours is our capital T. So what that means is every six hours, we lose 1.5% of the mass that is currently there. And then here we have three kilograms, and this is our B naught, or our starting amount. So now, this problem becomes simply substituting into this relationship. So the mass as a function of T is equal to B naught, which is three kilograms, that's the initial, initial amount, times one minus 0 0.015 to the power of t over 6. And we can simplify this to 3 times 0 0.985 to the power of t over 6. Now it's really important here to take a moment and ask myself, why do I feel good? Well, the reason why I feel good here with this problem is, first off, we see that it's a decay, so it's, it's a loss. It's getting smaller. So since here, um, I'm multiplying my B0 value by a value less than 1, that means this, this amount is always decreasing. So that means it corresponds to this situation. And that's the main reason why I feel good about this answer. So you might have noticed the answer here is actually incorrect. It's missing the B naught value. So now this problem really just becomes just like any other function problem you've worked with. So it says, what will the mass one week to the nearest thousandth of a kilogram? So B, well, we know our function M as a function of T is equal to 3 times 0 0.985 to the power of T over 6. So I want to know, what will the mass be one week later? So what you have to watch in this case is that this, the time, is equal to one week. But my change time is actually given to me in hours. So before I actually substitute t into this function to solve, I need to ensure that the units of times match here. So what I need to do is I need to convert this, the time of one week into hours. So I'm going to say, well, one week times seven days, and there's 24 hours per day. So therefore, seven times 24 is going to be 168. So therefore, the mass at 168 hours is equal to 3 times 0 0.985 to the power of 168 over 6. And then I just get out my trusty calculator here, because as much as I am a fan of doing 
mental math. This is some mental math I cannot do. So I'm just going to actually type this in. And we get approximately 1.96. Now a couple things that are really important here. First thing is make sure you use approximate symbols, okay? Don't don't say equivalent or sorry equals because it's not equal to 1.96. It's about 1.96. Second thing, um, really important. Actually, let's keep red because red is, seems to be what we're trying to question. Um, one step in the calculator. So make sure you can plug this in in one step. One thing students don't often do is develop good calculator habits. We want to be sure that we can plug this into our calculator in one step. That's really important here. And finally, this is a word problem. So typically, since it's a word problem, we should have therefore the mass is 1.96 kilograms after one week.